What will people say about how I lived when I'm no longer here? What will people say about how you lived when you're no longer here? Today in Robin Sharma, this message really stood out, especially with what's going on in the world with COVID. And he talked about how we squander time, we waste time as if we will live forever, even though at any moment it might be our last breath. He went on to talk about how life is so fragile. He said, there are people who will wake up today, take a shower, put on their clothes, drink their coffee, eat their oatmeal, and then be killed in a car accident on the way to work. That's just life happening. His, his advice, which I thought was top notch, and I've heard this message before. I've heard it in songs. I've heard different philosophers say this song or say this uh, message. His advice is, just like the others, don't put off doing whatever it takes to express your natural genius. Live in a way that feels right to you and look for small miracles every day. Find things to be grateful for every day. He continued on saying, stop wasting time on trivial things. That is so true. Stop wasting time on trivial things. Stop being afraid when it comes to your ambitions. Reclaim that creativity, the fire, the potential that might be waiting for you to bring forth and, and harness and let the world see it. And if you don't want the world to see it, that's okay too. But stop wasting time on trivial things. Life is so short and it's so obvious in these times how important it is that we focus on what we are grateful for. And that's what he said. Be grateful for every single moment. And then that took me to a quote from Chelsea Lee Smith and this is what she said. This is her words. I am grateful for early wake-ups equals children to love. House to clean equals a safe place to live. Laundry to do, you've got clothes to wear. Dirty dishes, be grateful. You've got food to eat. Crumbs under the table equals family meals. Grocery shopping equals money to use. Toilets to clean. Be grateful for that indoor plumbing. Lots of noise equals kids having fun. Endless questions. People are learning. Her words, a child who is learning. But I see that even further. Endless questions, people, people who are learning. She finishes her quote with, getting in bed, tired and sore, equals, I'm still alive. There is so much to be grateful for. Quit wasting time. Stop being afraid. Reclaim your power. Reclaim what it is that is your purpose. And if you don't know your purpose, start figuring it out. Keep looking for things to be grateful for. I'm going to. I'm going to enjoy every minute of today. And I'm going to keep working on reclaiming my creativity and my fire and my potential. Because that's what I do. And I love life. And I'm grateful to be here. And I hope you are too. Have a great day, my friends. See you tomorrow for day 38. Take care. Oh, by the way, I'm going to post a picture of the sunrise. Mitch took a picture of it on his way to work. And it's beautiful. So I'm going to include it.